Hello everybody, and welcome to Burpee's Comic Book Asylum for the New Era, aka being the second quarter decade I'm working on. That's right, I just had a birthday, turned 25. Woo! One step closer to the grave. Uh, anyway, you're wondering what the fuck is with the mask, okay? So you had a birthday, you got that woo thing that doesn't even make noise. That's the first time I've used that thing, and I just really doesn't make any, realize it doesn't make any noise. Yeah, that's a buck fifty I was screwed out of. Although it did come with a pack of eight. I'll be selling them on the eBay store for uh yeah. We're gonna leave that one alone. Um so that was going nowhere. That was not funny. Anyway, so the mask. What the fuck is up with the mask, right? Look at that, it's even got little nose holes. Who the fuck? Like what kind of shitty turn upside down? It just looks weird. It looks weird either way. But it's a really shitty little paper mask, so you can take it apart. Anyway, I was looking for birthday hats. I was going to do this whole thing with a birthday hat and a little woo thing. I thought that looked pretty crazy. Um, and, you know, just make a fool of myself. That's what I enjoy doing, right? That's what I do these for. So, did that. would have been really funny. But instead, I couldn't find anything. I went everywhere and I couldn't find shit. All I could find was these god-awful masks. Um, so, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Let's get on with things. Nobody cares about a birthday, you know? Fuck that. We all have them. Nothing special. Now, uh, I've promised this for a little while now, and today I come through. Uh, I did check out the web comics. Oh no, hold up. I checked the web comics. <laughs> I'll make the noise for it. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I checked out the web comics. Uh, I got a lot of suggestions, like I said uh, last video, um, and I decided to end up. Uh, trying, you know, one of the first links I got, uh, which w ended up paying off huge. I went to it, uh, and it ended up being ZudaComics.com, or ZudaComics, or Zuda.com, ZudaComics. Um, pretty cool website. I, I know I've heard of them before. I've seen, you know, the Bayou ads in, uh, in, in, like, you know, DC Comics, so I knew of its existence. Uh, I didn't necessarily know exactly what it did. Um, but I was curious, and so when I came upon this from one of the very first links I got, my cat is destroying stuff while we do this. Oh, I'm sorry, that was driving me nuts. If you heard, it was the cat. Let's get a sighting of the beast. Oh my god, there she is! Crazy cat! Crazy cat! Okay, so that was the first ever field trip slash monster sighting on the asylum. You've seen it here first, people. Um... What is going on with me today? Alright, so, Zuda, sorry, back to the business. Um, really cool, the first thing initially catches my eyes, I get on that, uh, was the competition, uh, which was really cool, which is basically a bunch of web comics from what I can gather. This is, this is the beginning of my journey so, if I, uh, journey, so if I'm incorrect in these statements, somebody correct me, set me right, I want to learn. This is cool. I mean, I really do uh, want to stress how cool this webcomic stuff is, um, and I've just got such a small taste of it. It's just such a cool idea that so many people get their ideas out there and do what they want. Uh, it's, it's just really neat. Uh, I'm, I, I'm pretty overwhelmed with it. It was way cool. I spent so much time just screwing around on Zuda.com, and eventually I'll, I'll branch out of the comfort zone, but I mean, it, it was just hard to leave because I'd be like, alright, first time I find a dud, I'll leave. And I hung out there for fucking you know, almost a whole day, so that tells you the depth they got there. Um, and there's just an amazing assortment. Um, and Zuda, you should really pay me for this. Because <laughs> I'm realizing I'm talking you up like crazy. But it's the truth, people, you know. And, uh, it was cool. I really dug it. Um, anyway, so I'll point out some ones I liked. I, like I said, I, I did the competition. Uh, that instantly draws you in. It instantly gets you, you know, just engrossed in the website. Because like, you can stake a claim here, you know. All those people who enjoy a comic that doesn't necessarily sell well, but people enjoy. This is for you. You know, this is the critically acclaimed stuff. This stuff wins the competition. If people like it, they keep it. You know, um, you don't ever have to fall into the argument of, oh, well, it's three ninety nine. So what? It's free. Sign up. You can vote. You know, it's that easy. It's cool. Um, so you get, you, get a, you get an emotional investment in some of these comics. It's fun. Uh, cool. So, uh, my favorites from Zuda so far, um, these are just comics. I mean, I've enjoyed, like I said, everything, but there's certain ones I got to and I had to hit that favorite button. I just wanted to say my fav one of my favorites. Uh, it's just, I love that because uh, some of these are just awesome. Uh, one of the first ones I checked out was High Moon by uh, David Gallagher and Steve Ellis. Um, blown away. I mean, really blown away. At first, I honestly wasn't so sure how much I, I would enjoy because I was like, 
and I'm not a big Western guy. I, I, I don't know. I just, yeah, I don't really have any interest. But I got into it, and I, I gave it just a couple pages, and I was just like, wow, the art's beautiful. You know, what, what an amazing job. And, oh, wow, the script's really good, you know. The, the dialogue's just so fluid, you know. You, you get to some comics, um, and you read them, and, and the dialogue's just not fluid. This is not the case. This is, this is a very well-done comic, and so you get engrossed in it really quick. And then it, you get a little bit of action just enough to suck you in, and it's just like, <gasps> ooh, click, click, click. And next thing you know, you're, you're blowing through pages of it. Uh, it it's just great stuff. Um, uh, basically, like I said, I, I haven't gotten too far because I've spread out amongst, but from what I gather, it's, it's, a, it's a detective um, Irish in the, in the, in the, in the, the uh, Wild West um, who, like, changes into a wolf. It's badass. Um, if I got that wrong, I, that's just my implications of where I've gotten to so far. I haven't gotten that far. Uh, but I've gotten far enough. Um, like 30, no, 70-something pages. Um, they're still playing. Anyway. Uh, great stuff. I would highly suggest High Moon. Uh, next up is E, okay? And uh, it was, that was a strange-ass title, man. Uh, it was just really cool, all these crazy white creature people with, like, big lens-style, you know, faces. Uh, it was just really cool. It was really different. It was fun. Uh, you know, just... I don't know, it was cool. It was something, if you like um, uh, Mike Alred, you would enjoy this. This this is right. I mean, those two guys would get along swimmingly. I think. I mean, just uh, that kind of style. Not the same. It's definitely got its own flair, but it, it's it's good. Uh, but the credit goes to Crawdad Jones on that one. Um, but I noticed as I read through these, like for the next one, the names. Um, I'm not sure if they're the real names or their pen names or what, because like the next one you'll see is is not. It's not like a two separate name. It's just one strung together like it's a, a username. So somebody could fill me on that. That'd be great because I don't want to be given credit to shit where I'm, you know, being joked. Because <laughs> uh, I don't know the guy's name and that makes me look bad. We don't like looking bad. Want to see the cat again? Meow! Uh, <laughs> that cat's name is Lilandra, by the way, aka Lily we call her, but Lilandra, that's her. Yeah, so it's pretty disappointing when she died. Anyway. I'm all over the place today, people. These cards are not helping me. Problem was, I was sick yesterday, so I slept a lot, and I got ridiculous amounts of energy, and so now I'm just unleashing the beast. Um, anyway, so, uh, credit goes to Crawdad Jones, like I said, um, for that, and that, that was really cool stuff. Next up, uh, this one was part of the competition. It's called Rockstar. Really enjoyed it. The art is phenomenal. Phenomenal. Um... And that's the one where I wasn't sure if the credits were correct, but it's Z S A B R E U S E R. So like Jaja Bruiser, I, I don't I don't know. Um, so if I could find that guy or girl's name, that'd be cool because I'd love to give him credit. Um, but if that's the name, I'm I'm sorry. If you if you don't follow this enough, you know you don't know that I, I just fuck up names consistently. Names me. We just fuck around with each other. Um. Anyway, but Rockstar is really cool. Uh, kid plays guitar, fights fucking huge dragon boss thing. Um, just incredible looking villain. I mean, just uh, visually stimulating as all hell. I mean, you can sit there and look at that villain for a while, you know, and just really look at the detail and enjoy it. Um, just amazing storytelling done in the art. Uh, so uh, that's currently ranked number one. Uh, so mad props to that. Um, it was a good comic, yeah. I mean, it was one of those things with the competition, too, getting back to that, is I had to reread a couple of these because I was just like, man, that's close. That's hard. Um, and, you, and, and you only get one to come back, I guess, uh, you know, and, and continue past that initial eight. And so, oh, man, I wanted to see a few of those move past, you know. And so it makes it a tough vote. But so you can't really argue, like, Rockstar, I, I can see where that gets voted number one. No problem.